the world champion in the middleweight division. And being introduced, the champion Johnny Perio, the challenger, Rodney Batman Batiste from Washington, D.C. On the right, you see Batiste. He has a record of 25 wins against three losses, five by knockout. He's 27 years old, 5'9", 167 pounds. On the right, the champion, Jean-Yves Theriot. Excuse me, on the left is the champion, Jean-Yves Theriot, 26. Six feet tall, 168 pounds. He has a record of 22 wins, three losses, and has won 20 of his fights by knockout. We're scheduled for 12 rounds, and we spoke earlier, Joe. Do you think the fight will go the distance? It's going to be a very interesting one. I really can't say. Uh, I know Batiste has never been knocked down. Terrio has won 20 fights by knockout. Batiste has a very elusive, elusive kind of footwork. It's going to be hard for Terrio to find him early in the fight, I think. This is round one action. The champion is in black. The challenger, the U.S. champion, going for the world championship in the yellow with the red stripe. Batiste said to me earlier that, oh, nice front leg swing kick by Batiste. Unusual kick to see him throw. He said to me earlier that he was going to go to Terrio's body earlier in the fight because Terrio does such a good job of protecting the chin, and there we saw him go with the left hand of the body. Terrio not really attacking in this first round. He's really feeling it out. There's a good, strong right hand. Good left-right combination by Terrio. Batiste uh, does not seem to be intimidated at this point. Terrio in his last fight that we saw against uh, Glenn McMorris here in Ottawa. Went four or five rounds, just kind of picked the pace up gradually, was feeling it out. He knows he's got 12 rounds to go, and then in the fifth round, sixth round, he starts really putting the pressure on. You can always tell when Terrio is ready to go for the knockout because he puts 100% power in everything he throws. Closed a lot of distance in throwing that left hook. That's the kind of thing that could give him trouble if Batiste picks up on it if he does it too often. Batiste is, has got to be the hardest hitting opponent that Terrio has fought. Batiste was a natural light heavyweight, came down from the light heavyweight division to middleweight. We're getting ready to close out round number one, a feeling out round in this world championship professional karate match. Nice front kick by Terrio inside a, an attempted counter hook by Batiste. We'll be right back with round two after this. Ottawa Civic Center between rounds one and two of a 12-round world championship bout. Here you see first round action, Batiste in yellow, the world champion, Johnny Terrio in black. Good feeling out round. Terrio came in with a couple of hard punches during the course of the round. Batiste landed one good front leg swing kick in the round. It's an even round, though, a 10-10 round. Batiste catching a couple of those uh, Terrio front kicks in the midsection. Batiste really uh, digging into the body now. This is for the championship of the world. The champion is a Canadian from Ottawa. Oh, teeing off with that hook. Boy, you can see the daylight between uh, the hook and uh, Terrio's head, fortunately. Batiste throws a right to the body and comes back up to the head with his left hook. Front leg swing kick. Terrio traps it on the shoulder. Terrio has good eyes, watching very well. Batiste has him reacting to him a little bit now. Nice combination in by Terrio. Left hand, left round kick to the head. Nice right hand counter by Batiste. Terrio took it primarily on the shoulder. Nice that right hand. That right hand landed on Batiste. Couldn't tell whether it buckled him or not. Could have. That's the Terrio power. Batiste looks more serious, his face looks more serious than he has in any fight I've ever seen him in. Nice hook by Batiste, picked off mostly on the glove. 
by Terry. Oh, solid hook into the body. Right over the liver. Double hook by Terrio. First one to the head, second one back into the low ribs. There's that front kick by Terrio going into the face. He's extremely good with that. Moves his opponent back into the ropes and comes with a hook. Good stiff jab by Terrio. We're inside 10 seconds left in round number two. Still feeling each other out. We'll be right back with round three after this. Along with Joe Corley in Ottawa and the Ottawa Civic Center in Canada. And this is round two action. The right hand by Terrio. Looked like it could have buckled Batiste a little bit, as you saw there. He could have been going down, but I used that right hand as the deciding factor in scoring that round 10-9. Terrio got him leading by one point. This is round number three. The world champion, Terrio, is in black. In the yellow with the red stripe is number two in the world, the challenger, Rodney Batman Batiste. Definitely, as I've said earlier, the hardest hitting opponent that uh, Terrio has fought. He has the ability to put his opponents down with the left hand or the right hand. We've seen him score knockouts with both. Good defensive move then by Batiste. Picked the right hand off with his right glove. Terrio does not want to get himself lulled into a false sense of confidence against Batiste because he can strike fast as he did when he TKO'd U.S. champion Ray McCallum that we've seen here a number of times. TKO'd McCallum after drilling him on the jaw with a right leg round kick. Really surprised McCallum. Solid kick to the body. You could hear it snap all over the arena. Terrio hits so hard he has to train with heavyweights and gives the heavyweights back as much as they give him and more. Ross Scott spent a lot of time in Ottawa training him for his rematch with Demetrius Oaktree Edwards says that Terrio hits as hard as any middleweight he's ever seen. Joe, we've seen this before. Terrio got hit by that left hook and then smiled. He really enjoys the action. Batiste, some good evasive head movement. Terrio coming off the hard round kick, but on the shoulder. Batiste is willing to exchange with him, but I think Terrio must feel now that he's got a power advantage. Ten seconds left in the round. Batiste is back in his own corner, covering up. He may go down before the bell. The bell can't save him. Terrio working him over. Batiste spins out. He doesn't really seem to be hurt, but he took some abuse, and we'll be back with round four right after this. Thursday. We're back at ringside in Ottawa, Ontario. Rodney Batiste made the cardinal mistake against Terrio. You do not stand in the corner. Do not stand in the ropes and let Terrio throw these shots. Because he drilled about six or seven hard body shots in and then blasted through Batiste's defense to land four or five solid punches inside to definitely give him the edge in that round. Batiste will not want to make that mistake again. Round four, this world championship match is scheduled for 12. Each fighter required to kick eight times per round minimum. Solid hook in by Batiste, smashes the right hand defense of Terrio away from his head. Batiste still mixing the head punches and the body punches up well. You can see the power in the Batiste left hook. Two superb athletes in here just wailing away. Nice counter hooked in by Batiste. Caught Terrio coming in. That has been the cardinal sin that Terrio makes in his fights is throwing the kicks out there without putting a, putting a hand in front. Batiste, good two-punch counter, left and right. Terrio continues to drill his body kicks in. Good head movement by Batiste. He stayed inside and outside the jab. He's gone both ways. He's bob dipped out outside the left jab and he's moved inside the left jab. Terrio not landing the left jab as much as he does against most of his opponents. 
Good head movement by Batiste, causing Terrio to miss. Good double hook by Batiste. Into the body, inside hook to the body, overhand hook to the head. 20 seconds left in this fourth round. Terrio looks serious as though he's looking for openings and can't figure out why he's getting hit as much as he is. Scott Batiste reacting to him now. There's the bell for the end of round number four. And that round, we saw Rodney Batiste looking better than he did at the end of round three. Terrio backed off, did not continue the pressure that he was pouring on to Batiste at the end of that uh, third round. Batiste probably had something to do with that with a good stiff punch as he threw early in the round. Got Terrio's attention. Terrio with 13 kicks in that round. Batiste with 11. That counter hook then by Batiste. Counter hook by Batiste got Terrio's attention early in the round. That round I've got scored for Batiste 10 to 9 by virtue of that hook. I've got Terrio 39, Batiste 38. At the end of four rounds, Terrio leading by one point. See there with Dan Magnus, former U.S. welterweight champion Michael Coles. Michael Coles lost his U.S. title to Jeffrey Gripper in Columbia, South Carolina. A good right hand in inside by Batiste. Slipped between Terrio's two gloves. Another good right hand by Batiste. Saw the sweat fly off Terrio's head. Picked up most of it with his glove. Part of it got through. Batiste working well, going to the body and then raising it back up to the head. As you pointed out, it, it should be four or five rounds that Batiste is able to evade the bombs that Jean-Yves Terrio is capable of throwing. We're in round number five, so if your pre-fight prediction holds true, Joe, this is the round Jean-Yves Terrio should be able to find him, but it looks as though Batiste is finding his mark. Well, Batista has fought a little more aggressively in the last two rounds. He's had to come, had to come back after that third round pummeling that he took in the corner. And then I, I think has upset uh, Terrio's game plan a little bit, expecting to a uh, good right hand in by, by Batista as they exchange. Batista is doing the picking now. Terrio looks like he's trying to get him sized up. This is the place Batista does not want to be with Terrio. why he doesn't want to be there. Batiste is watching the punches, but Terrio mixes the body punches and the head punches up well against the ropes. And all of the lead that Batiste had developed earlier in the round, he just lost with that few seconds spent on the ropes, and he comes back with a good hook. Seesaw action here in the fifth round. Batiste opens it up strong. Terrio gets him on the ropes in the middle, and Batiste now landing a couple of blows here at the end of the round. Looks like Batiste was going to carry that round, and then uh, Terrio trapped him on the rope there, and Batiste was punching it originally when he got into the rope, up against the ropes. When he quit punches, Terrio took it away from him. That is a... This is where Batiste... Ended up not winning that round. I had to end up scored even because of this flurry here by Terrio. And Terrio looks at his shots, and when the body is open, he drops it down and goes to the body. Batiste picked off all but two of those blows, but it was the two blows he landed earlier in the round that would have given him the edge. Both men with nine kicks in that round, 60 for Terrio at the end of five rounds. 51 for Batiste at the end of five. Both men well over the eight kick minimum minimum close fight at the end of five seven to go batiste immediately comes out of his corner across the ring and meets terrio on his turf body hook by batiste terrio is letting batiste take a lot of the first moves which is not the usual Terrio style. Good front kick to the body by Terrio. 